on senior day? Yeah, it's definitely crazy to think about. Uh, you know, just walking up here, Joe just said to me, you know, <clears throat> it's crazy it's already here for this season and this class. And it's weird to think about, you know, we've been through so much. And, and for this to be the last time, possibly the last time to go on the blue, it's uh, kind of crazy. What do you think makes this class special or, or different? Um, I would say the way we kind of came together this year and, and you know, really – we kind of have a selfless class, you know, we're really about the team and, and about each other and, you know, I think that's what kind of makes us different from the past teams. It's a, it's a class that, you know, has kind of we had to do different things than the past ones when you guys were, you know, you played your first years and then, you know, you had a coaching change and you, know, you had to go through classes and stuff like that. Like, you guys have had to go through a couple different things, you know, it's, it's been smoother for some of the other classes. Yeah, it has been and, and we've been through a lot of different things and uh, we've also been very fortunate, you know, um, and the way this class is stuck together and, um, you know, the way, you know, we battled adversity in some games and in some seasons, it was, uh, you know, it's been a great ride. Favorite memory for you over the last couple of years? Um, definitely winning the Fiesta Bowl. Probably my top memory. It was a crazy game and uh, we pulled it out. Favorite catch over the last couple of years? Most memorable? Most memorable catch? Um, hmm, that's a tough one. Uh... I would say the Hawaii in the corner of the end zone. That was just this last weekend. No, 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 no. no. Uh, last year. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, last year in the corner of the end zone. Ten, nine, ten nine. 15 years from now, when people are, uh, you know, thinking back to Thomas Furbeck, what do you want them to remember about your career at Boise State, your time here? Hopefully that I was a team player. You know, I was willing to do anything for the team, and, and hopefully that's how I'm remembered. Um, you know, hopefully our whole class is remembered like that because I feel like you know we really play for each other, the guy on the left and the right. Why that, why that catch against Hawaii? Not the Wyoming one you had or the no-look one against Air Force. Why that one against Hawaii? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Probably because I hadn't caught that pass all week and I wasn't expecting the ball. And the way it worked out was, was kind of crazy, I guess. Uh, I'm asking some of the guys about you know, some of the other seniors. Uh, you know, obviously, in your receiver group, you got, you got Chaz in there. What, 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 you know, what stands out about him? and What do you remember about him? Gosh, uh, a lot of things. You know, me and Chaz have been through a lot. Um, you know, definitely... <clears throat> You know, the way he battled and, and, and kind of, you know, went from DB to receiver and, and did such a great job with that. Um, I'm definitely going to remember that. I mean, he's done so much for the team, and, and he's such a key factor in our offense. Uh, the guy's a great player. Any more energy around here? I mean, I know you guys obviously have to control your own business, but with, with Wyoming losing one, a little more possible, maybe you guys can still get into the championship game. Any different feel, you know, around the facility the last couple of days, around the team, kind of knowing that maybe your, your goal of the Mountain West titles is maybe a little more possible now? Uh, it's the same feel. I mean, we've always just kind of looked at it. We can only control what we can control, and, and it's uh, the next game in front of us. So, you know, we're just looking to go 1-0 and each week and, and beat UNLV. What were your thoughts when you heard that Wyoming had lost? Um, you know, I was pretty happy, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we still got to just look, look what's in front of us and, and kind of focus on the game ahead. When you look back at your career here, you kind of got your, your – chance when a, a record setter like Matt Miller went down with an injury did you ever envision that you might you know <clears throat> surpass him and then own these records yourself uh definitely not I would have never thought that that was kind of in the question but um crazy kind of crazy how it all worked out and and definitely have you know a lot of people to thank for that especially my teammates but uh yeah I want to ask you about, about Ben I know you guys you know have obviously you know been, been, been pretty you know pretty pretty tight and stuff what what about him that you know that you'll remember? I know you guys went to Vegas and all that stuff. What, what kind of stands out about him? Uh, the guy's just a, you know he's a great football player, but he's an even better friend. You know he's one of my best friends, and uh, he's a great guy, and he uh, really stands true to you know what he stands for, and that shows on and off the field how hard he works, and uh, he's a great football player and a great guy. What, what's your goals for after after you know when you leave here? From, from do you already have your degree? I guess. No, I do not. Okay, when are you going to get that? Uh, I'm not sure. It depends. I gotta figure out a few classes and talk to my advisor. But we'll okay. Well, I mean, what, what do, you, do you hope to keep playing football after this? What is kind of your your goal? You know, when, when your career here ends. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and play as long as I can, um, might as well. And you know, we'll see what happens. What if you, whenever football ends, what what is your next career path, or what what have you thought about getting into? I'm gonna get a business major, general business. I'm not really sure what I want to get into yet, but kind of keeping my options open. Have you got, got much to look, to look at UNLV yet? Uh, not yet, but I think we're gonna go watch film right after this. So. Obviously, you know them them beating you know Wyoming and you know scoring as many points as they did. I mean, obviously it has to kind of catch your guys' eye a little bit. You know, you know people talk about focus and stuff. How much does that help? Just the fact that you know what they did just did on Saturday. 
yeah, I mean, it definitely kind of, um, you know, puts a puts something in our offense. You know, we got to score a lot of points, but we also have confidence in our defense that they can stop them. So, um, you know, they're an explosive offense too. Their defense is good. Um, it seems like kind of a shootout that game, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. You guys lost senior night last year against Air Force. That memory, sorry to bring it up, but does that kind of motivate you guys for this Friday? Um, yeah, I mean, it does. We obviously want to win every game, no matter if it's senior night or not. But, um, you know, hopefully it's special to the seniors and, and to the other players that, you know, this could be our last time on the blue. Brett kind of talked about the offense, you know, at the Y game. He said it's, it's clicking better than it has all season. You know, obviously he's a huge part of that. How do you feel about how the offense is doing? It does seem like you guys have been as efficient as ever <clears throat> these last two weeks. Yeah, we have been, and I definitely agree with that. Um, it seems like, you know, every every play that we we call, it seems like, you know, it could be the play that scores, and I feel like that's how you should think of it. And, um, you know, obviously the coaches are doing a good job of when to call the plays and, and stuff like that, but our offense is definitely has a lot of momentum right now. I feel Brett's playing. I mean, obviously, he's, I think, you know, obviously it probably comes with the territory, but he's probably playing hit the best ball of his career these last couple of weeks. He is. He, yeah, that's a very true statement. Um, you know, it kind of showed a lot last game, the way he was checking out of some plays that we were running into the wrong looks, and uh, he did a really good job of, of checking out of those and running the right play, and it showed. When you uh, look, think back about when you first arrived here and then coming up this week with senior night, can you put that all in some sort of perspective, what the, what the last uh, few years have been like for you? Um, you know, I haven't thought about it too much yet, but I'm sure when I go out of the tunnel, um, it'll all kind of hit me. So uh, I might have to answer that question after. Do you but. expect to be emotional when you come out Friday? Uh, not emotional. I'll be focused, but uh, it will be a little weird, you know, walking out for possibly the last time. Who, who all are you going to have uh, out there with you on the field? Uh, my family, uh, my two sisters, my mom, my dad, and my girlfriend. I hope you mentioned maybe the last time. How motivating is that for you guys that to make this not the last game on the blue? I mean, obviously you guys would love to have another game. It would mean something big. Yeah, it's definitely motivating. Uh, like I said, you know, we can only control what's in front of us, UNLV, right now. So, uh, you know, as long as we go 1-0 every week, hopefully the rest takes care of itself. Thanks, Thomas.